five 52-week low stocks to observe. The first one is PHGE stock. The second one is INM stock. Third one is LCI stock. Fourth one is FBRX stock. Fifth one is UIHC stock. So the, beginning with the first one, we have Biomex Inc. It closed the session of the 9th of September, 2021 at $3.18. You can see what's going on here. The stock is very much, very, very much bearish. It's been uh, retracing since sometime in uh, late February or March. And there has always been attempts for the stock to extend upwards. And it never really got to anything, you know, but all of those were buying opportunities, buying opportunities for market, market participants. So even though the stock is a very very bearish one people are also making money out of it so whatever the situation people but there's money to be made this the float the shares of standing is that is 28.195 relatively small relatively small we have seen um bigger bigger floats before i mean bigger uh, figures as it concerns that shares outstanding so the float you can imagine may is likely to be smaller than that so all the oscillators are very much bearish. Momentum is totally not there as well. And RSI, you know, is indicating it's a you know bearishness. You can see 28.44 below 30. So yes, um, volatility is also not there as well. So yes, so observe and see. I'm not, we're not recommending it, but um, when there's no interest, is also where certain market participants go and see whether uh, an opportunity might may arise in future so where you and i have uh, abandoned some other market participants also go there and view their their nests and their tents so the next one is inm in med pharmaceuticals So it closed that session the 9th of September 2021 at $2.05. So in this pre-market session of the 10th of September, 8,300 shares have crossed the tape. So it's not that relevant in what we're talking about here. You can see also the underlying trend is a very bearish one. And the float, the shares are standing is 8.051 million. The float is likely to be smaller than that. So this is a very good case of a very small float. You can see what's going on here. So there has also been several attempts to pull up, several attempts to pull up. So it just tells you that um, as, it, as it is declining, you know, we've been high, we now have, um, uh, sometimes we have higher highs, uh, sorry, we have lower highs and higher lows but then all, all of a sudden again um, it becomes uh, it continues the downward trend so a, a good indication of uh, the underlying trend uh, continuing so that is what we have seen here but um, I'm not exactly sure with, if this is uh, the lowest it has actually reached but it's all in all it's a good case of buy the deep opportunity and uh, market participants evidently evidently have always taken advantage of uh, the deep opportunity in this stock in this INM INM stock you can see that so they buy it here and then it rises they buy it here you know you can see that all over the stock you know so let's move down and see what the volumes are like so volume for the last 10 day is 106,482 not anywhere close to its shares of outstanding to say the least volatility stands at 109.65 percent so relatively relatively high you know are probably owing to the fact that uh, it has a relatively small float so all the, all the indicators and oscillators are indeed also very much bearish so um, INM stock um, see what you make of it we're not recommending it just observe and see and it has um, dipped there is always an opportunity but you know we're not recommending next one is LCI Lanet Co Inc Planet closed that session at $3.24. Let's see what's going on here. 
42.276 million is the shares are outstanding so the float is likely to be less than that so we can also see the underlying trend is a bearish one but uh, for some time it has been moving sideways it's been moving sideways it was moving sideways for a good number for i would say since what would i say sometime in april it moved sideways up till early early august and then you know things took a downward turn and at the same time at, at some point um, it reached this 52 week low of 4.1 dollars and then like a participants bought the but the uh, the deep and then we now had uh, um, lower highs and uh, higher lows but um, it started to retrace again confirming that uh, the downward trend is uh, still in progress and since that time it hasn't moved up again so yes all the indicators oscillators are very very bearish the stock is completely oversold uh, let's see what the volume is like. The volume is at uh, 1.047 million shares for the last 10 days and 42.276. Okay, not also close to its um, at least not even close to 50% of its uh, shares outstanding, even though uh, it's not exactly the figure we are working with. It will be the float, so we don't have that figure readily. So, volatility, volatility stands at 62. 38% not as high as uh, the previous one um, this is probably owing to the fact that maybe it has more um, shares on float so next one is FBRX FBRX uh, stock is Forte Biosciences Inc it closed that session, the session of the night of September, at $4.04. So far in this pre-market session of the 10th of, 10th of September, it has uh, 30,000 um, shares have crossed the tape. So what we have here is also an underlying bearish trend. All of the moving averages, the ones we have are definitely um, sloping downwards you can see this huge drop occurred when did it occur it occurred on the third of september of, of september yes it just dropped and collapsed and uh, since that time okay it has moved sideways but it's still it has it's even um, sideways but downwards as, as well so we can see here what we have here is that it, it has a float of sorry shares are outstanding of 14.079 million shares um all the indicates all the indicators oscillators are also bearish momentum you can see that this is that's the 14 period lose the classic oscillator tracking momentum the stock is completely sold out nothing you know momentum is not there at all my d below the signal line uh, RSI also indicating even a more green figure, 16.49 relative to some of the ones we've seen. Okay, um, volatility, okay, stands at 116.67%, relatively high volatility, maybe because of uh, a small float, it may have a small float. Shares of standards at 14.079, there's a good chance it is. Uh, it may, maybe the float is probably in the uh, single millions, you know. So, but um, uh, the it had it's retraced a, a lot of late, but um, uh, market participants have not taken advantage of that. Uh, but um, we all you are, you and I know that um, where um, where there is a bloodbath, that is where you should be. So right now there's a blood there's a bloodbath as it concerns uh, forty forty biosciences. You know may have been as a result of um, um, some other fundamentals we don't exactly know why that happened so um, yes would they buy the would they take advantage of uh, what's going on now to buy the deep never know you may they may not they may or may not but just keep it on your radar the next one is uh, UIHC United Health Insurance we have covered this earlier on we covered this uh, a few days ago 
So United Health, Health, Health Insurance, United Insurance Holdings, sorry, it closed that session at $3.22. So 43.27 million shares are outstanding. The float could be smaller than that. So what we, what we also have is um, a more a more um, relatively more consistent case of retracement and of late you know it, it just uh, i think that we there's a news out there i think it has yes it's if i remember now it is a, one of the stocks that was removed from the um, s p small cap s p 600 small cap with uh, micro strategy it's, it's one of the two stocks that were removed from that index so and the stock has been retracing maybe that's why they have removed it from the index i mean you wouldn't want a berry stock to be in your index you know um so probably they got it off and you know that um even lets yet more um sell off so is there any chance this stock will pull up again well there's a good chance it may continue to retrace the underlying trend is uh, going to continue to feed on itself and it did for all the other stocks we just mentioned in this video the underlying trend is much more likely to be the you know the major driver there's a good chance they will continue to retrace and retrace but you know you still have to observe them and uh, put them on your radar you know see rsi is a lot better 27.6 but still very much bearish um volatility is poor 58.77 percent relatively poor but okay volume 182,402, you know, indicating that there is a lack of buying interest, you know. So, yes, um, see what you make of these stocks, and we'll continue to update you and uh, bring you more and more, um, if you'd like, buy the deep opportunities. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video.